these days, most of us probably store our files in cloud-based services. So arguably, it's probably more rare to lose files than it used to be. But sometimes you'll still end up with uh, files on your, on your local uh, computer, like if you do a lot of video recording, for instance. Something I noticed after uh, we started our YouTube channel at House Collective, I end up with a lot of local footage and sometimes I may delete the, the wrong footage or sometimes uh, a file gets corrupted during export or something like that. And in those cases, it's really um, convenient to be able to recover those files so you don't end up with a lot of uh, lost work. Um, and Wondershare Recover It makes this really easy. Uh, so it's a tool that can simply recover files that have somehow been lost and it's super easy to do. You just choose the location where the file used to be, so like the the folder where, where it used to be and Wondershare Recover It will scan that folder and notify you of any files that are uh, that, that are possible to recover and you can preview those files and then decide if you want them uh, to be available on your drive again and uh, Wondershare Recover It can simply and make that happen. So let me let me show you how easy it is. So using Recover It is really easy. As you can see, we're now at the home screen of Recover It, and we have access to all our external drives, uh, the 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 drive of your of your computer, and and if you have any flash memory and so on, like it, it will all, all appear here. Um, in our case, we actually if if we press, like I want to recover a video from the external drive. So I made a test video for uh, for recover it and then I purposely deleted it just to test test out uh, recover it and it's on the house collective external drive that I use for video recording. But I don't want to press on on the drive itself because then it will actually start to scan the entire drive for missing files. So instead I will select a specific folder and then the file that I want to recover that I purposely deleted to test to test out recover it was in the recover it test folder at the house collective external drive that i use for a video recording so, uh, so we simply open this folder and it will start to scan that particular folder for missing files and and it's all uh, it's all ordered by file type so let's see what it comes up with So before we wrap up, I wanted to share some fascinating background on real-world data loss incidents. It's eye-opening how massive projects have been tethered on the edge of disaster, and it underscores why thinking about file recovery matters for all of us creators. So take Pixar's Toy Story 2 back in 1998, for example. During production, an accidental command wiped out nearly 90% of two years' worth of animation files from their servers. Their backups turned out to be faulty and hadn't been tested properly for a month. It looked like the whole movie was gone, but luckily a technical director who was working from home after having a baby had a recent copy on her personal computer. So they ended up recovering most of it, just minus a few days of work and the movie went on to become a classic. So that's pretty crazy, but it shows off uh, how copies can be a lifesaver. And if you don't have that, like last resort, such as uh, recover it. I hope this house tip can save you from lost work in the future. At least it's saved me a few times already. So I just wanted to pass on that tip. Um, it's quite convenient to be able to easily recover uh, files that have somehow been lost. So. Um, so yeah, as always, if you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. That helps us a lot. And uh, stay tuned for more content in the very near future. And see you soon. Bye-bye.